Hey guys, so, well, I just cut my grass yesterday, and, and I fertilized it last week. So it's a nice day out. Now it's a little windy. And so I thought I'd do an update video like I do uh, every month. So it's the update video for the month of October. So first I thought I'd sh uh, share some bad, bad news for y'all. Well, two bad news. So here's the first bad news. Right here at my pecan tree. And it may be kind of hard to see, but there are no pecans. Yep, no pecans. So, that really sucks. The squirrels, they just nabbed all of the pecans. And you can definitely tell they made a big mess right here. A bunch of uh, sh pecan shells, it's just all around the trunk of the tree. So, yeah. So no pecans this year, but despite with all the pecans that are gone, the pecan tree has done really well this year. So yep, that really sucks. They even uh, they even snatched all of the pecans out of my grandfather's. Uh, pecan trees as well. I just hope if they didn't do the same thing uh, to my aunt's pecan trees because over at my aunt's place out near Weatherford see she's got quite a few pecan trees. So, yeah. Yep, definitely not any. Yeah, our maple tree looks like it's starting to shed some leaves a little bit, but not not that much. Okay, so now for the other bad news. Well, when let's see, just a couple months ago when I bought these, yeah, bought the pocket hose. I was really uh, enjoying, really enjoyed using these pocket hoses. I just loved seeing them expand whenever you would turn the water on. But unfortunately it was just too good to be true because the last time I used them to water the grass uh, had a blowout. In them. So that really sucked. So somewhere on the hoses just has a a hole in it. And so yeah, that really sucks. So I'll just have to throw these away. I may get another get another ones. Maybe see if they'll last a lot longer. And if they don't, then I'm not gonna uh, deal with them no more. So I don't exactly know for sure on where the holes were, but it's just whatever. That's why, like in my opinion, I usually like to stay away from as seen on TV products. And so yeah. And uh there hasn't been any hummingbirds. I haven't seen any hummingbirds at both of my feeders in almost two weeks or possibly three weeks. And so yeah. So I think the hummingbirds may have already gone into uh, winter hibernation, took their journey down to Mexico. 
So I just cleaned the feeders up for the last time yesterday and I got them back out here again. And I will be taking the feeders down uh, by the end of the week since I still haven't been seeing a hummingbird. Because it was kind of like this uh, just like last year. Usually like in October usually in early October so yeah and our Westinghouse air conditioner it's been working excellent we've had this thing now since April it's did a good job on keeping the house cool And the reason why my dad has his car right here in the driveway is because he's on vacation and he's actually out of town. Uh, he went down to a uh, big band along with some uh, friends of his. So he's got his car right here. Also, while he was even gone, I even applied some uh, wipe new on the headlights of his car they were looking really bad and they look perfect they look they still look maybe a tiny bit dull but they're not too bad but I tried to do it on this one here well, it looks like now it seems to look looking really good well the problem is the reason on why this one didn't turn out as well as the other one was because, see, there's a lot of uh, moisture built up on the inside of the lens. So, yeah. So, I'm not going to start it up because I don't have the keys for the, for the uh, cobalt. And there's my car. My car has been working excellent. See, there's the other hummingbird feeder. So yeah, apparently no more hummingbird videos for uh, this year. So the last hummingbird video that y'all would see for this year was that one where I had them two uh, female birds that were fighting at the feeder out back. Huh, look at that lizard right there. There's another one just right there. So yeah. You know, I can say our grass has done really well this year. This summer was a little bit dry, but not too bad compared to on how it has been a couple years ago. But I must say, our grass has done really good for this year. <clears throat> We've recently been getting a lot more rain lately. Let's see, almost two weeks ago we got it nearly two inches of rain. And we got it some more rain uh, just last weekend. We got it probably just less than an inch, so not that much. And we should be getting some more rain. Uh, for this weekend so it's it seems like lately now it's been raining just almost every weekend now so yeah so our grass has done really good this year our front yards always look the best our backyard our backyard hasn't been doing too bad it's just this area here that's it's obviously has done the worst. Usually it's just in this area the St. Augustine grass in this area would it would just die out. Right here it's pretty good. But since it's 
since we're now getting cooler weather, it's now uh, it's growing really s slow now, and it's starting to get into its dormant stage. There's a lizard running up the tree. And I need to clean out the flower bed. It's really a mess right here. And so, yeah. These cannons have done excellent. This one right here. Believe it or not, it's actually taller than me. But probably real soon, I'll probably have to cut them down. Looks like one of them are starting to look dormant a little bit. And so, okay, now just before I end the video, an update for the equipment so let me try to get this open and like always it's hot in here so all the lawn equipments have been working excellent working well like they should you know I've been having some uh, request like numerous times from Franco Alia to uh, do a cold start on the Lawn Boy 10533 but I'll wait until it starts to get a little bit cooler it's still it's still a little too hot to be messing around with it I really I honestly don't really feel like starting it but if I get a chance to, just whenever, I'll do it. I don't even know if it even will even run anymore. Because I hadn't, I've only ran that thing just once this year since when I did the video on getting all the equipment running for this year. But, whatever. And so, yeah. And for the next lawn cutting video, which it'll probably be next week or in two weeks, just depending on just depending on, on how fast the grass will grow. Since now we're getting cooler weather, it'll probably it's growing a lot slower. So I would say probably in two weeks just so the grass would be tall enough. I'll uh, use the old vintage lawn equipments for the next lawn cutting video, which will be the Echo SRM 2201, the Echo PB400E, and the Lawn Boy 8461, which they've all been working great. For some reason, the SRM 2201, it's been hard starting lately. So I don't really know why. So hopefully maybe if it will run whenever I do the lawn cutting video. And so, yeah. So I think that should do it for the update video. And maybe hopefully this month uh, we haven't really haven't made any plans yet though to uh, go to uh, the State Fair of Texas because I haven't been out to the State Fair in almost 10 years so I would like to maybe go if we do I'll bring my camera and do a little video out there and so yeah alright guys so uh, hope y'all enjoyed this update video so thanks for watching